Hello to everyone. Um, I'm going to put this quick video up, hopefully it's quick, um, based on healing. Since we are approaching the fall and winter seasons, uh, these are the times where they like to chemtrail. Um, uh, I'm going to tell you something. Uh, I really, I can't stand those things. Really, seriously, I can't stand them. Um, I have issues with them. Uh, and maybe they can be just targeting certain people, you know. Um, and like I said, I could be speculating, but every time they spray that garbage in the sky, um, and that's why I wanted to really put this up real quick. I, it just came to my mind to put this this video up. Every time they spray that garbage in the sky, it throws me off. Um, I don't, I can't even explain how, uh, but it it makes me feel like I'm like going in and out or something maybe it's because of the, the aluminum and the barium and the poisons or whatever it's in it and um like i said i could be just targeted and i'm sure some other people our people the hebrews the israelites uh it, it kind of like and you you like make you have to hold your head to deal with your sinuses and so i just wanted to put this up because uh since they keep blocking the daggone sunlight, which really angers me. Uh, you know, you stay in the scriptures, and uh, we're gonna have we're gonna lack vitamin D. Uh, that's just the way they're doing it because they know if you can cause people to lack vitamin D and calcium, uh, certain ailments will eventually develop in their bodies. So what I want to do is, and I want to make this very clear, and I want you all to comment. Uh, those of you that catch colds, you know, that, that happens. Um, but like I said, I am not boasting. I have not had an actual even common cold. Uh, none of those things since 2011. Okay, that is just truth. Um, and I really love people and I like to help them. So I want you all to do this for me. Um, well, for yourself. Since they doing all the garbage chemtrailing, um, you have to get you a light. You're going to have to get you one of these lights here. It's bright. Now, I turned it so you'll see how bright that light is. You're going to have to get you a light that's very bright. Put it in your room. Uh, get you a lamp. Three or four lamps. UV. Make sure they're UV lamps. Fluorescent. You can use a fluorescent, fluorescent bulb, but make sure it's the ones that twist, the little small ones, and they're twisty. Some people balk on that, but I'm telling you, it will heal you. Um, it, it, you will, like if you're catching a cold or something, uh, turn your lights on, go to sleep with the light on. Uh, I guess I can title this video, uh, healing with lights. Okay. Uh, I mean, it works because I've been doing it for a while and I know it works. So I don't care what ailment you got, uh, whatever it is. So, I mean, just try it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's just like if you got a plant in a room that's dark. If you just turn the light on, the plant will still, it will grow. It will respond. So our bodies are from the dirt as the plant. Okay. And you will respond to light. All right. And what I've started to do, and I don't recommend this, but it hasn't bothered me. And I still have the same type of effects as gazing at us at the sun since it's you know because some people say well what i'm going to do during the winter time you know i can't you know behold the sun during the winter time or it's fall or it's very cloudy for x number of days i do it in this light right here yeah i don't care i'm not going to go blind i don't believe in that so it's not going to i'm not going to go blind anyway because i don't believe in being that the light is going to make you blind. I don't care what kind of light it is. All right. So, and, uh, you know, like I said, I'm here to help, but like I said, I don't recommend, I mean, you can do it on your own gesture on your own. Um, if you feel that you want to do it, you know, but I gaze directly at any light it is. I don't care what kind of light it is. And it always helped me out. So, and I sleep with the lights on. If I feel that my body is acting like it want to get sick or something like that, nah, 
lights on. I don't play those games. Okay. So uh, there's an actual book uh, called Healing with Lights. Um, I haven't read it. Uh, I was supposed to be uh, a brother at the job. He brought it in to show me how it looks. And uh, I'm still going over that. But uh, it's it's <laughs> actually proven. Uh, and they don't want you to understand that. See, if you really and this is what I want people to do. I mean, the only way I can get to people is through this media right now. Uh, you notice every clear day, excuse me, every clear day, they're tic tac toeing chemtrails over the sunset or the sunrise. Um, and then they, I mean, I seen today these real thick. I mean, they were. It wasn't clouds. I mean, it was like the thickest chemtrails I've ever seen. And I actually made a comment on one of the RT News uh, Russian TV uh, reports about the shutdown and all that. And they were showing a picture, an image of the Capitol uh, the day when they opened the government back up, so-called. And I looked and I paused the video around 19 seconds and I made a comment right there. I'm like, I see why they're in confusion. I mean, the chemtrails is, is just crazy. I mean, there are diseases that, that can be sprayed in them. Uh, it lowers your immunity. Then so-called they, this flu season and people taking the flu shots. People And I don't know why people doing it. They're still coughing and sneezing their behind off. What is it doing? Nothing. It's not doing anything to you. Let me say, the light works. Our body responds to light. And I've always been a weirdo. I guess you can call me. I would, as a kid, take some... <laughs> thinking about it is a little funny. I would take some grass seed, get some dirt, and put and plant grass in the house just in a little cup and I would put the light on it and it would grow if I turn the light off the grass would do this you know it just start bending but I turn the light on it to do this just a regular light though so it's it's any type of spectrum of light is energy because it's still the source is based on heat and fire it's, a, it's, it's just governed by in by ingenuity ingenuity excuse me so it's just engineered to be governed like electricity is governed by like chargers like adapters you know things of that nature but it's still energy source is electricity so it's still natural but it's just like I said it's just governed okay people don't people balk on the the ultraviolet lights or the fluorescent lights because of uh, the mercury Mercury is only going to hurt you if you bust the light. If the if the if the thing bursts, then mercury will or radiation or whatever you or whatever will come out of the fluorescent bulb. But I am not worried about nothing. Okay, I don't care. It's not gonna. I'm to the point where it's nothing. It's not gonna bother me anyway. Let me see if I can show this here. I had a cyst on this. Hope you can still hear me. Right here. Still stick out a little bit. But that thing was way out here. It's going away. Okay. I mean, I, I, I wish people would really listen. You know, because I, I, I talk to people around me sometimes in, in my small little circle. Like I say, it's not that many. They were like, oh, man, that makes sense. And then the next day, hey, did you do it? Oh, I forgot. And they sneezing and uh, I forgot to do it. But yet you would take a pill that you can't pronounce none of the words on the back. The ingredients, it would say something like phenylalanthamine, You can't say none of the words. You need about three other extra tongues in your mouth to say some of the words that's on the back of these pills. But you'll put that in your mouth before you put a light on in your room. <laughs> you see how backwards we think? Like, why don't you just try the, the, the light bulb first and just see how that works? Okay, I mean, 
a it's a gnat in my room. He keep going into the light. Everything is attracted to the light. A candle is so attracted to the light it would it will burn himself under, under a candle. Bull, like they got. I mean, can I make this much more clear? You have uh, bug lights because the bug will, is so attractive and so beautiful to the bug and they, the bug going in and the zap is behind. But everything is attracted to the, even the the, 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 the the night bugs, they're attracted to the light. They be flying all over the place because that's life. Light is life for this natural body in this natural world. The sun is the the S U N is life for the natural body, but the S O N is life for the spiritual body. It's just it's just one and the same, but we're in this realm. But you have to feed one. You can't feed one without the other. And I just wanted to make that clear on this video. And I want comments. I want those who have head colds, who are sick right now, who may have the flu or whatever. Um, I even actually may kind of like feature this video just to see the comments. And when I say feature, I'm talking about feature on YouTube to see who are having good results. And I'm sure I'm people are gonna you know these so-called pharmaceutical companies and all they're gonna come against me like oh you're gonna have people destroy the people do the book yeah okay but I guess because you want to feed them a, a pill that's gonna give them side effects and all type of mess in 10 years from now wondering why their legs are falling off restless leg syndrome and uh, I don't know who knows the reason why we going bald and all this stuff man Come on, yeah. I mean, try it. I mean, because I, I know I'm on point. That light, you have to get used to it. Some people say, man, I can't fall asleep under the light. Well, try it a few days. You Eventually, your body will say, well, look, this this weirdo is not turning the light off, so I'm going to just go to sleep. And you, if you're sick, you can't go to sleep anyway because you So you're going to be twisted and turning anyway, so you might as well keep the light on. Let the, let the light give you the energy because you think you you need you don't need as much sleep as you think when you turn your lights on the body is going to be generated it's going to be you're going to have energy all right so uh you may get three hours of sleep and wake up you'll have enough energy for the next day all right i've had that i know that i know all the experiences okay i've been up one time three and three a.m i left my light on gaze behold beheld the sun the next day i was fine i didn't even realize i actually forgot how late i went to sleep so i mean just try it i mean like i said i know a few of us are trying to know a lot of people are doing this but like i said i was a little compelled you know to make this video real quick it just hit me i'm putting it out there leave comments uh if you're sick i want to know if you have, when I say sick, like if you got the flu, if you got a stomach ache, if you have, a, you know, some type of virus, uh, I want you all to kind of like try this method right here. Turn the light on, make sure it's bright. You see how bright it is in here? Matter of fact, could I brighten this while I'm recording? No, I can't. Okay, but anyway, make your room as bright as possible and lay down in it and put. The, this light right here is very close to my bed and put and have that light directed right on your face okay and put that light up in there in your face you know let me let me show you an example here because my I've done this before but I want to make it clear let me see something so I have you see how dark it got in here you can see this light is like a lamp here so this lamp light it would make my hairline look better. <laughs> but anyway, this light right here is directed right on my face right now. And I sleep with that light directly on my face right now. With, if like, if it's something, if I feel that it's something that's going to make me feel 
like I'm getting sick or something. Like what I mean is, because sometimes I go out and ex- exercise and it be a little cool. Right now it's getting cooler, so I'll still go out there and be sweating, talking and yapping at the brothers. Um, and I'll feel like a, <clears throat> you know how you get that those so-called runny nose thing. Yeah, I'll be like, okay, body, sorry I abused you. I'll do just like this now. I'm fine right now. So I usually would just turn this light here, and I hope these examples are helping you all out. I'll turn this light here that way and use it as a night light, <laughs> you know. But if I feel that I'm like, oh, man, I need, I feel a little woozy because I was out too long and I lowered my immune system because, you know, exerting energy, it lowers your immune system. So hence, you are susceptible to any ailments, Okay. So what you do, you feel sick, you starting to feel that groggy feeling. Ha, I got something for that. Shh. Bow. I'm telling you this stuff work. You got to try it. Boom. Put that light up there like that. That ain't enough, though. You got to hit your ceiling light and get all your light. If your ceiling light ain't bright enough, get another lamp light somewhere put all the light on in the world every light in in the world need to be in that room and you i can't stress that enough light it works okay there you have it hopefully you all enjoyed the 16 minute video i'm out uh thank the most high for the sabbath you all have a great sabbath this is my life and i'll be doing this for the rest of it shalom